Hi babes, thank you again for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be talking about affordable makeup palettes. Now these palettes seriously blew me away with the quality, blendability, and of course the price point. We're going to be talking about the Bad Habit Aphrodite 18 color eyeshadow collection palette as well as the Paradise Highlight Kit. So if this is the first time you guys are checking out my channel, hi I'm Christine. I upload either beauty, fashion, or lifestyle videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday and weekly vlogs going up on Sundays. All these videos go up 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel as well as don't forget to hit that little bell notification. It will notify you once I upload new videos. YouTube has been so weird and people aren't seeing the videos in their subscription feed. Before I kind of talk about the palette, we're going to jump right in to the swatches because you guys got to see these palettes. those swatches helpful these are from the brand bad habit but you can find this on the hush app which i have here on my phone these are also cruelty free it's a cruelty free brand the bad habit aphrodite 18 color eyeshadow collection palette very similar to a high-end brand palette i unfortunately don't own that palette but i can say though seeing that palette in person and then seeing this one it is quite similar now for ten dollars this is such a great deal for the pigmentation, the blendability of these shadows, and the amount of product that you get in here. It's in kind of like a cardboard packaging. I also love the fact how it has a really nice sized full mirror and has a magnetic closure. It's also very sturdy, which I like, so you know that your shadows are secure when they're in the palette. This contains 18 different colored eye shadows. You have here some shimmer, you have some that are a bit on the metallic side really really pigmented and you also have some that are matte I am also wearing the eyeshadows today I created this look as well as I'm using the paradise highlight kit prior to applying the shadows I did use the Too Faced shadow insurance just because I always use an eyeshadow primer and I had to also just set it with um, I used koi which is a matte cream colored shadow all over the shadows blended out so well they were really really pigmented I just made sure to test off the brush of any excess shadow as for the lid color I decided to use beauty so I just sprayed my synthetic brush with setting spray first when I dip the brush into the shadow it didn't pick up much product then I dipped it back again and it just packed a whole bunch of product onto the brush and onto the lid and I was really really surprised when I swatched the shadows some of them were not super super pigmented so I think for these metallic shadows such as as infatuation and beauty you definitely want to spritz your brush with um, a bit of like a setting spray just so that it picks up more of the product the only one I will say though that I did get a lot of fallout would be 
this color called Tease, and this, that's actually what I have on the inner eye corners. Right when I dipped into it, it just kind of dispersed all over, but I mean, for $10, Come on now, it is such an awesome palette for the price point. Other one I want to mention, which I am also using today as my blush and also as my highlight, this is the Paradise Highlight Kit. Again, it has such a great big mirror, which I always appreciate. I think when they have that empty space, it's kind of pointless. I have one cream color highlighter, as well as three other highlighters. You have White Sands, also Resting Beach Face, and Mai Tai. So I used Mai Tai as my blush. Now when I first applied it, I did have to build up the color because it's not really supposed to be blush, it's supposed to be a highlighter. It's this really pretty peachy opalescent highlighter that I think works really great as a blush. You just have to like really build up the color. You could definitely see how glowy it is on the skin but the thing I love most about it is that it's not shimmer it just has a really nice glow to it. And then I decided to layer Sun Kissed which is a cream highlighter. I decided to top it off with Resting Beach Face, which is a really beautiful kind of golden color. It's like a golden champagne color and I just tapped that on right on top of it just to set the cream uh, highlighter in place. And right when I placed that, you can already see like how it was just beaming. It has such a nice glow to it, but it's not shimmer. Really well priced for $10. Each pan in here is about 0.16 ounces. They're really just great affordable palettes. Really pigmented, really easy to work with. Highly recommend you guys check out Hush. I'm going to actually leave them linked down below and let me know if you guys have tried out these palettes and your thoughts on them. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick review and swatch video. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here. I would greatly appreciate it. As well as don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Thank you babes so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.